please put that in. Hey guys! Okay, it is August 7th. It is sophomore year. Um, Ruben, I am an RA at Corbin Hall at the University of Kansas. And so we move in two weeks, uh, a little over two weeks before school starts. That way we can do like 12 hour training days. I'm looking forward to that. Um, and I got my belly button pierced. Yeah, so right now we're following my dad um, to Lawrence. We're gonna get there, and I thought it would be fun if I did another vlog. Uh, <laughs> that would be uh, fun if I did another vlog of me moving in. So that's the plan, you know? Um, my best friend Libby is also moving in today. She's also an RA. And so, actually, a year ago I moved in, and so did Libby. So it's very exciting. I swear he drives bad on to see if I'll like, like pass him or something, I swear. And I got my nails done. Oh yeah, done. Gracie and I both got our nails done. Who do you, who do you like are better? I like Gracie's more, honestly. I, I like mine, but I think they're just more springy, don't you think? Yeah, mine are like hot girl summer. Yeah, yours really are. Um, I haven't slept. I went to a birthday party last night. Didn't we... We took five hour energy shots and then we went and watched the sunrise and then I, we went and got Starbucks and then I went straight home and now we're headed to Lawrence. So at 11 o'clock it'll be 24 hours with no sleep. 11 a.m. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And I feel honestly so energetic until it hits me. Once it hits me, I'm dead. Hey guys, so basically I'm taking over Hi. Basically, I'm taking over Aubrey's vlog. I'm taking over the vlog because Aubrey's like unpacking everything. And yeah, so I'm gonna give you guys an unfinished dorm room tour. Hey. This is what her door looks like. They decorated it for her. It's so cute. And then when you walk in, this is what you see so far. What? Nothing. Oh. So. She has like this empty space right here and we plan to put the blue couch that they had in their suite last year. And then there's her bed, which is made, her desk, which we need to put the vinyl on it. And then under here, I had the awesome great idea to make a reading nook for Aubrey, but also a place where I can sleep when I stay over since there's not gonna be much space. There will be the couch. I know, but this I is fun. It is fun. I really not. Like, so, then she has, I will. Then she has these storage containers. And then we're gonna figure out like a bed slash comfy nook thing there. And then we're using this as a bookshelf. So cute. Um, yeah, but they don't fit. But it, it's kind of messy. Are you gonna you. fill that empty stuff in? Yeah, I'll probably put in uh, like a, a knickknack or something. Yeah. So there's her bookshelf that a DIY bookshelf. Oh, like my, like my camera. oh yeah. And then here's her dresser. Aubrey, your butt is in it. Okay, let me actually that one fit. So we'll you can just else. put like a something yeah, I'll figure flat something on out. it. Okay. So then here's shh. Sorry. Here's her dresser and she's gonna put her TV on top of it. It's kind of cluttered over here. And then right here, I think, is where she's gonna put her, put her mini fridge and microwave. And here's her closet. Um, I don't know what's gonna go up there. Shoes will go down there, and then she has all her clothes. Is that all the clothes you brought? Well, I have stuff in here, but all the hanging oh. stuff, yeah. And there's a full body mirror. Of course, it's essential. Laundry basket. Is that dirty clothes? No, they're clean. I just have them. Oh. I and then yeah so basically that's how it's going so far libby will be here soon and i'm so excited okay my question is should i put it like right there oh. and he's back so basically that's what is happening and we're about to get deep into work about to work hard af hard as fuck language Oh, my record player is dusty. I just okay. 
Well, we'll see you soon, guys. Okay, hey guys, so I have not vlogged at all. I'm just gonna set up my camera and do a little time lapse and talk to you guys later. okay guys so basically this video is all over the place i know that so i started this video off being a moving vlog so those clips were before this clip obviously but i only took three clips if you couldn't tell and so now i'm going to be doing a little <laughs> I'm gonna be doing no you're fine. I'm gonna be doing a little week in the life. I'm just gonna add some clips. So um I moved in on August 7th along with Libby, but she didn't spend the night on Saturday night. She her first night was last night. So I just want to, to tell you guys some stories. So first off, Libby and I are RAs, which is why we moved in so early. School doesn't start till the 23rd, but we just have to be here for training and then panalytic. Um um, members or people that are going through the recruitment process move in a week early so we have to be here because we're living in Corbin okay anyways Corbin is uh, like 90% of Panhellenic so anyways that's just a fun fact but also Corbin is the only residence hall with an attic and I think the scholarship falls yeah. maybe yeah, yeah so Corbin is known to have a bat problem, but we're getting paid to live here and we are getting free housing and free food. So it's like deal with bats, free food, free housing, or like, you know. So anyways, um, I have had two bat encounters and I have been here for, what, a little over 72 hours? Maybe. And like, I have witnessed both of them. So basically on Saturday night after I moved in, I spent the night and my sister Ella was here. I was on FaceTime with Libby and I was just exploring my floor and I went down the hallway and went into like the emergency exit where there's a staircase and on the wall was a bat. And Libby witnessed me screaming, running, dropping my phone, having to run back to my phone and then freaking out for like five minutes. So see that, that was okay. That was a minor experience that happened on Saturday. Today we had 12 hour training day from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. And we had some breaks in between. And so <laughs> for our dinner break, I came back to my room because I had a salad in my fridge that I wanted to eat. I open my door and I see a bat circling above my couch. And so I drop everything, slam my door shut, this time I didn't scream and ran upstairs. And I will insert a picture of um, the bat right here over Libby's face. <laughs> oh yeah, show the. Show I'll it. see if I can zoom in. Um, but yeah, we uh, we waited like two hours before someone was able to get it out. It got stuck underneath my fridge. Can you see that? That is the bat. That it's was got its teeth out. That was in my room. And it was alive. Yeah, that is not it dead. Still is alive. Don't worry, guys. It they got. It didn't kill it. It was unharmed and it was released um, away from Corbin. Although Barely. I feel like it will make its way back. That's it all will. I have to say. But yeah, I thought I would update you guys. That way you kind of know what's going to happen. I'll probably be sporadically vlogging throughout this week. I'll probably show you guys my door decks and um, like my bulletin board and random stuff like that. But right now, we actually just finished watching the second Percy Jackson movie. And. Guys, if you read the books, the movies are kind of disappointing. They're like, they're not like, I don't want to say they're the worst movie I've ever seen. Or, actually, I think they are the worst book adaptation I've ever seen. Honestly, it doesn't follow the book at all. It's like actually sad. I was just pointing it out and I was like, they're yeah. They're good movies, it's, but it's not good book adaptations. Also, they have two very attractive males in the movie. First, the second one. 
not as much in the second okay. movie. Lo yeah, no, he looked better. Mm -hmm. Which is weird because how old was he in the first movie? Please tell me he wasn't. He was definitely an adult. <laughs> or like <laughs> close enough. Like close enough. Well, 19, so like barely. <laughs> that, th this is a throwback to when I watched Harry Potter for the first time and I was calling um, Daniel Radcliffe attractive in the first movie. And the third movie. And the, th the third movie. That's and where it's 13. at. And Please, let's That's cut the cameras. That's okay. Cut the cameras. It's okay that I feel that way because I've watched them since I was 13. So that was a normal attraction and it's just continued because he hasn't aged with me. But you're watching it at 19. <laughs> Call the police. Call Anyways, the police. I just think he's cute. That's all. There's a, never mind. I'm gonna stop talking about this. You're gonna catch a case. Yeah, literally. But yeah, I will keep you guys updated if there are more bat sightings. But yes, I have been affected by two bats personally. Um, I'm gonna try to figure out how it got in my room. I have two vents, and then underneath the door, I do not think. It went under the door. Like first off, bats no way. bats just don't get on the ground because when they get on the ground they can't get up really. And so I'm just I find it hard to believe that it crawled under. Like why my door? First off. Um and then how would it have gotten up and circling around? I'm thinking it was the vent that doesn't have airflow in it, and I think it crawled through there. So, um, Hopefully I don't have poop around my room because it is toxic and I am scared. But yeah, I'm a little jumpy recently and I'm scared to be alone, if I'm being honest. I have been alone all day. <laughs> We've been together. I know, I'm scared that we're going to get tired hours. of each other. But yeah. Um, yeah, I just wanted to update you guys and I'll talk to you soon. guys you guys are probably like what the heck Aubrey what is this video and where are your wings and like what is that and all of these questions first off I just want to apologize because this video is probably going to be under five minutes I just had a very like stressful busy week and so I am just going to end this video here I am still gonna publish it just because it has some moving clips and then I tell you guys the bat story here at Corbin and um, yeah kind of just the first few days first week and a half um it's actually wednesday august 18th i'm going to try to upload this tomorrow i think and i'm actually going to film my room tour tomorrow that way i have like an actual video up for you guys but also back to the banks thing um i literally it's today today has been or yesterday was one day since i got my bangs and i decided i don't want them anymore which is why they're pinned like this um this isn't how i want to wear them but i have decided i'm just going to be parting my hair in the middle from now on so anyways just disregard until they grow out a little bit more it was a very busy week i don't even remember the last time i talked to you guys i know i was with libby um but since then we had a full week of training monday through friday of last week and it was very busy they were very very long days but it was also very fun and friday i think was my favorite day it's um called bcds and you basically just act as if a like real scenario that would happen as an RA and how you would respond to that situation and I really enjoyed that. I thought that was a lot of fun. Um, and then on Monday and yesterday we had like very simple days and today was our first day where we had no training or anything. We're actually going to be watching a movie, Mamma Mia 2, um, tonight as like an RA group. If you want to come, you don't have to come, but I think I'm going to go and see everyone and just hang out. and. Tomorrow, I don't think we have anything else, but Friday is a like 6.30 a.m. until 11 p.m. night. And so I'm very stressed out and I'll probably vlog the first night I'm on duty. Um, I probably, like it won't be showing anything just because I don't wanna break like any rules for my job, obviously. But um, yeah, also if Erin's watching this, shout out to Erin. We'll see if she watches this. If she does, she'll let me know. But um, yeah, real fast just to end off this vlog and kind of show you guys um, what I have done. I'm going to show you guys my door decks and my bulletin board. That way you guys can get to know me, I guess, or get to know my floor. Um, some I do have residents on Friday. I mean, on this past Saturday, Panhellenic women or women going through the recruitment week 
um already moved in for an early move in um compared to like normal residents moving in this upcoming friday and corbin hall if you guys know ku corbin hall has a majority of panhellenic women and so we have most of our residents but we still have a few that we're gonna have to move in but um yeah so i do have residents i think that's why i've been pushing off vlogging so much but i'm just like i just got out of the shower it's like six it's 5 39 and i was like i need to just show them my my like haul just like give a little tour of my door decks and bulletin board and meet your ra that way i can just finish off this video and get up for you guys but anyways that's enough rambling i'm going to show you guys real fast and um it is a university policy to have our mask on so i'm going to get my mask on okay guys voiceover aubrey real fast so here i showed you kind of like my where is your ra and then here are some of my door decks i had the bella trucks um my entire floor theme was twilight scene theme which you will see um yeah this is my meet your ra had to throw in twilight again and this is my favorite part it's my bulletin board it's places around lawrence but my kind of theme is still twilight so yeah that's my little floor for you guys that is my floor theme it's twilight you guys should have known that um if you guys know my obsession but yeah my next video will be a dorm tour um vlog or whatever because i don't think i have like anything else to really add to the space if i do add anything it's going to be like last minute stuff i have everything that i want to have and so i will i will vlog that tomorrow and get it up to you probably monday thank you guys for putting up with me and watching this video hopefully it was somewhat entertaining watching me move in for like i don't know probably like 10 seconds and then ranting with libby and <laughs> doing all this stuff but um yeah i have had a good week and a half and i'm very excited for this job it is going to be a lot of work but you know it'll be fun all of my friends have moved in except for two and so i'm excited to see them tomorrow and friday and so yeah i will see you guys very soon peace and love bye guys